Hi, I'm Angela Irvin and Paula Harvey with this, our Vice President of the SciFair Houston Chamber of Commerce is here today with Enchante Bell. She is the CEO of the Circle Network Group and Enchante, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Angela. How are you? Doing great. Tell us a little bit about your business and tell us about the challenges you've been facing during this COVID-19 pandemic. Absolutely. Well, our company is Circle Network Group, Inc. And essentially, we are a business consulting firm with a healthcare niche. I like to say the easiest way to put it is that we connect need to resource within the industries of healthcare and business. And um, we have several different resources that we can offer. We have departments in health, business, finance, uh, technology, and nonprofit. And essentially, we have resources within all those spectrums to be able to plug in any resource that a company individual or business needs to be able to thrive. And so with that being what we do, networking is everything for us. We network to be able to find our network links, which are the companies that we partner with that have the resource to give to our clientele. And we network to be able to find the clientele, the people that have some type of fundamental issues within their business to be able to, um, that's hindering them from thriving. And so networking is key to do what we do to be able to create a network base that we can pass along to our clients. And so with COVID-19, everything shut down. Uh, I remember looking at my emails and all the meetings that I had started to cancel off. The events were shutting down and I was like, oh my goodness, this is how we make money. This is how we move. This is how we connect. What's going to happen? And automatically, I can honestly just say it's the most high because everything happens for a reason. And in a space where we're at right now, we didn't realize that we were created for a space just like today. And so we quickly began to um, network via online. The SciFair Chamber was so huge and being able to restructure how we do business because you are able to take what you guys do and apply that to an online base. And so after that part, everything started doing that. Every other networking group started doing that. And we were able to start connecting with people in other states and other countries without having to see them. And then we started to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. And so during that piece, it's really just been a thriving portion for us. COVID went from being a hindrance block to really being a thriving source for us because you're now in a space where every business is looking to um, partner with someone to be able to move effectively when business starts opening back up. You have companies that are looking to be able to do business in new ways, and so they're looking outside of the box versus that come in to the door type of clientele. And that really created a resource for us to be the hub for that to happen. And so it, what started off looking as a curse actually ended up being a blessing. Well, we're so happy to have you in the chamber and um, love the networking piece of your business. You know, we're kind of that way too, but it's great to hear how you have pivoted and come up out, thinking outside of the box and really made it work for you. So, you know, what words of encouragement would you give um, other business people to do the same thing or um, even to get back to networking? We know everybody's starving for it, but it's so difficult right now. Absolutely. Well, words of encouragement, I would say continue to move forward. Look for innovative ways to be able to expand what you do. That was pivotal for us because during this time, we've been able to implement so many different structures and foundations of our company, which allow for us to branch out and do so much more. So really the two things that we were able to bring on our platform that was monumental for a time such as this has been our bill negotiations, which is huge for overhead. And off the bat, we can kind of direct our business to helping people first, as opposed to getting them in where they, where they see an issue, we can already start saving them valuable time and resources to be able to reinvest in themselves. And that was something that only happened really during the past few months during COVID um, occurring. And so being able to think outside of the box and those opportunities opening up for us to redevelop how we target um, our clientele, how we're able to provide a resource was absolutely huge. Um, and then on top of that, we got the opportunity to provide PPE. And so that was huge because right now, everyone is looking for a way to safely open back their doors. They're looking for resources. We hear all the time there's a shortage in 
ventilators, there's a shortage in testing kits, there's a shortage in these pieces. And so to be connected to the resource that said, hey, do you want to partner? Are you able to add this to your platform? Allowed for us to maneuver in a completely different way. So even though we're still doing our business, we've been able to expand how we do business based on those networking aspects and those partnerships. So I would say as a word of encouragement to any business, continue doing what you're doing and look for ways to innovate what you're doing for what the market needs right now. If you're doing something specific, add something on to that piece so that you can be able to give people the resources that they need, not just the services that you want to be able to offer. Because with giving people what they need comes being able to offer other services that they didn't even know they need. So innovation is huge. Learning how to be able to efficiently move within the uh, climate that we're dealing with is huge. And that comes with networking, networking, networking. Everyone has a different piece and not everything is going to be the same, but when you're able to find those resources that do something that you don't do, or you're able to connect with people that do what you do, but may have a different way of doing it, it only expands your platform. It only bridges the gap in between those needs that your clients have and that you have, and ultimately builds to be able to create a solid foundation. That is wonderful. Well, thank you so much for that. Your words are amazing. And what's interesting about you, you don't just do this locally, you opened up like across the world. So just by thinking outside the box, that's pretty amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. I did not know really what was going to happen when February and March came around and they said it's shutdown time. But it really has been an amazing opportunity for us to expand and to think outside of the box. And these are tactics and things that we're going to be using for the entire lifespan of our business, just to be able to build upon, just to be able to plug in those resources because we are all about building by helping others. And in this time, that's what everyone's looking for, something to be able to help them. And that only happens when you're able to build together and grow together. Oh, that's that's great. great. We look forward to working with you even more in the near future and seeing you in person, hopefully, sometime soon. Uh, so thank you for being with us. Yeah, thank you so much, Enchante. Thank you all so much for having us. We look forward to building with you all, and you all have a peaceful and productive day. Thank you. You too.